What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 16 of tutorial series on Amazon API Gateway tutorial. In this tutorial, I will take you through on how we can enable CloudWatch logging for the API Gateway or the API Endpoint invocation, right? So for example, I want to see the logs for the invocation of this resource, for example, that is domain demo. So let's see how we can do that. So the very first thing we have to do is to create the IAM role, right? Because um, we will require the permission to write the logs in the CloudWatch, right? So first of all, navigate to IAM management console, click on roles from the left panel and say create role. Now here within AWS service, select API gateway because we are creating this role for the API gateway service, right? And then click on next permission. Now here uh, by default, this policy will be selected. So we don't have to do anything over here. Simply click on next, next and give the role name. So I will say API logs and say create role. Now once the role is created, we have to copy the ARN of that IAM role, right? So I will search for that role. So that is API logs and copy this role ARN. Now go back to API gateway, open the API endpoint or the API gateway that you have created for which you want to enable the CloudWatch logs, right? And once you are there, click on settings, not the API endpoint or the API gateway settings, but the last one that is settings under VPC links. Now here, as you can see, uh, it's asking us for CloudWatch log role ARN. So we have to paste that ARN that we have copied from the IAM management console, right? So paste it over here and say save. Now, once this is done, navigate to stages, click on the stage that is version one in my case, then click on logs slash tracing. Now here you will see the option for enable CloudWatch logs. So check that box, select the log level for information, or you can select for error as per your requirement. So right now I will select info and I will say log full request slash responses data. I will check that box. And I don't want the detailed CloudWatch metric, right? So I will simply say save changes. Now you have to redeploy this API. So click on resources, say action and deploy API. Select the deployment stage and say deploy. Now let's try to invoke this endpoint. So before uh, trying to invoke this uh, endpoint, let's open the CloudWatch logs. Once you are within CloudWatch management console, click on log groups under the logs from the left panel. And here uh, it will create a log group saying API. So right now uh, there is no log group uh, saying API, right? Or starting with API. So now let's go back to API gateway. Let's copy this invocation URL. Go to Postman, paste it over here. Version one followed by domain demo right and say send so the invocation is successful and i believe the log should be generated right so let's check so go to cloudwatch management console uh, reload this let me close this and try to search again maybe it should be in caps so that's api enter so as you can see, the log group has been generated, right? So uh, this is the uh, naming convention that is API gateway execution logs remain as it is. And 
that is followed by the API ID. So that is referring to this ID, right? This one, right? So this is ideally the naming convention of the CloudWatch logs for the API gateway. So let's have a look. So we will open this. And as you can see, the log has been generated. So let's see what does it have. So as you can see here, uh, we have kind of all the information, right? The usage plan, authorization, the request and the response, right? And whatnot. So you can explore these logs on your own, right? So ideally, this is how you can enable the CloudWatch logging for the API gateway or the API endpoint, right? So, well, uh, that's it for now. And till that time, if you want me to do a tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.